bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bet. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva. Of course, I'll be pushing their buttons. I, I hold a control like the gamers. Like, God, keep it a stack. Bitches, this ass if we keep it a crack. Bad little redhead, she about to black. We come out in some movie, but we don't do that. And today, I'm going to be showing y'all what's in my book bag, high schooler edition. So, for those of you who don't know, I am a junior in high school. Like, I'm going into my junior year. And this is the bag I have. I'll put the link in the description below. I got it off of Amazon. I don't know how to pronounce this brand, so I, I don't even want to try. I just know it's Raven something. But if you just search up mini black book bag on Amazon, it will probably come up. There's a bigger version as well, but I got the mini one because I feel like the older you get, you really don't need much for school. Like, And especially for my school, because my school is very like digital. Like we do everything online, on our iPads, on computers. Like we never really use pen and paper unless it's like for a test, which is like twice a month. So, well, it depends on the class. But the point is we don't really use paper and even some tests we do on our ipad so i didn't really need a big bag so yeah i just got her so before i show y'all what's in the bag i'm gonna like get into like the bag itself and like you know what the bag has to offer so when you first look at the bag it has this this little pocket pouch in the front and um it's pretty spacious you can put a lot in here next we have these two little side compartments. You can't even see them, they blend in, but there's two little um, pockets on the sides of the bag and they go really deep, which I think is really good. So you could fit anything in here, pencils, water bottles, whatever you need, it will probably fit. I will scan to the main compartment. So there's two zippers on here, I believe. And when you open it up, it has this thing, which is basically like a name card. Like it has your name and then contact information. And then it talks a little bit about the brand. And then there's another pocket on the, in the main pocket. It has this little padding in here. It's like styrofoam. You don't have to keep it in the bag, but I think I'm gonna keep it in here. Basically it protects your back from like any like thing that's in the bag. Like if you have a sharp object in your bag, it would protect your back from it. So it's not like poking your back, which I think is really cool. So I'm just gonna leave it in here. But yeah, let's get into what's in my bag. So I'm gonna start with this little pocket up here. As you can see, I have my hand sanitizer. It's super cute. I don't remember what scent this is. It's hibiscus rose. How do y'all say that? Do you guys say hibiscus or hibiscus? Me and my friend were arguing about that the other day. Not arguing, but like we we're talking about it. So let me know what y'all what y'all say. Hibiscus or hibiscus? Hibiscus. Okay. So the first thing I have in this little pouch right here is two pens. I just have these because. I don't know when we take tests and stuff when i need to sign permission slate that is coming handy and it's school like you're gonna need pens and stuff like that the next thing i have in here is my airpods because yeah i just feel like going to school without your airpods is literally like you're setting yourself up for failure and yeah the next thing i have things is my lip gloss and chapstick because i don't know it's pretty self-explanatory i'm not about to be walking around with chap lips are you dumb are you stupid no and then i think the last thing i have in here is the sharpener and y'all see why but i just have all those in the front pocket because they're easy access and they're really small and i'm not trying to be digging around my bag to find like those things like my airpods my lip gloss pens pencils no i just want to have them as easy access so i could just grab it and go next in these little side compartments i have two pencils because i don't know sometimes you just need a pencil not a pen 
and then i don't have anything on the other side yet i don't know what i want to put in here if anything i'll put like a water bottle or something but as of right now it's empty okay let's get into the main pocket when you open her up this is her so the first thing i have in here is my emergency kit if you haven't watched that video go watch it once you finish this it's really good and it has everything you need for school in that kit so yeah that's the first thing i have in my bag because i don't know it's just like there so the next thing i have in my bag is my charger i would not bring this charger to school but this is just for the video because i didn't feel like getting my other charger don't bring y'all fast charger to school y'all they're gonna get stolen it's just it's it's gonna happen don't bring it to school i'm telling you don't bring it to school but yeah this is essential for school especially in my school because we use our ipads and phones a lot so the next thing i have is this notebook this competition notebook this is um 100 sheets 200 pages nine by seven it's just a line paper notebook because I feel like I don't know if I'm gonna need it in any of my classes because I feel like in some classes they do be telling you to like pull out a notebook or pull out a pen and paper and I just want to be prepared rather be safe than sorry so the next thing I have in my bag is my iPad this is my school iPad I do all my school work on here most of the time if I'm doing work it's gonna be on my school iPad we do not use pens and papers in my school it's either on a computer or on the school ipad so i need this in my bag it's all times and i love her the case is a little busted so not too much not too much on this the last thing i have in my bag is this composition composition poly folder it's just a folder yeah there's not much to it it's black and it's really like I got these from the dollar store, so maybe that's why they're flimsy. But I kind of like the fact that it folds because my bag is really small and it just fits. Like, yeah, it just fits right in there. I hope it don't fold my papers too much. But yeah, pretty much everything in my bag. I wouldn't recommend this bag for like freshmen or like maybe middle schoolers. I wouldn't get this bag if I were you simply because. I feel like you need more school supplies and like, especially freshmen, like if you're going to a new school, you don't know what you need, what to expect. So I would say definitely get a bigger bag, but I feel like this is definitely good for like um, juniors, seniors, even like sophomores. Mm. It really depends on your school, honestly, but I would say this is better for older kids because you really don't need too much. All right, y'all. So this is how the bag looks on me. I am five five. So I was a little bit. I don't even know if I put the bag on right, but to help y'all out, just in case. You know, you don't know if it's on right. What I did was, cause in the back on the bottom here, it has these buttons and this would attach to the button right here. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to like pull this and whatnot, but I was not about to do all that. So basically what I did was just detach these from the buttons down here. There's two, but you wanna take the bottom one off. So you detach it from the buttons and then you just put it on like normal and it should pull all the way up to fit to your, you know, arm or your height or whatnot. So yeah. All right, y'all, this is the end of the video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that post notification bell so you get notified every time I post. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.